Jeff Burrell, Director of the Southwest Florida Real Estate Investment Association, here to talk about the January 2016 Lee County, Florida Foreclosure Trend Report. In January, we had 80 mortgage-related list pendants. Uh, that's the lowest count monthly I found since uh, June of 2006. December, we had 108. Uh, the previous January, we had 110. For certificates of title, uh, we had 147, which is up slightly from December, uh, where we had 92. In the previous January, we had 297. So it still doesn't look good for a, uh, a nice flood of foreclosures going into season. Here's a chart since January of 2013, kind of showing the current. This was the, the, the last trend kind of decelerating, and we've kind of settled into the new normal, in my opinion, somewhere between 180, it looks like now. Here's a chart of the list pendants filings that shows the entire last cycle. Here's our certificates of title, the entire last cycle. Top 10, BOA was number one, uh, U.S. Bank, two, uh, just not much separating them. The number one had eight. Our certificates of title, Fannie Mae, will continue to drive the bank-owned uh, the bank owned. Uh, market where well, they had 14 percent they had 21 they're still not nearly as many as they used to be they used to be in the mid 20s for a percentage of the deeds that came in top 10 certificates for non-banks uh very little investor activity a couple new ones showed up but still very little investor activity out there in general uh yearly totals Here's a chart yearly from 06 that shows the uh, uh, certificates and the uh, mortgage-related list pendants. Here's the yearly totals for the mortgage-related list pendants. Definitely shows your little second bump there. Certificates of title. More of the same, a month over month, a year over year decrease. The top 10 filers, which are the national entities, were represented 57.5% of the filings, and BOA was number one. We've got a great luncheon coming up this week. It is a follow-up to our luncheon from last week. The topic is going to be unlicensed activity and title. How much of a title interest is enough for exemption for licensing? Our presenter is going to be Bradley Butcher with Butcher & Associates. It's going to be a Pinterest Crab Shack. It's Thursday, the 4th of February. Uh, starts at 11. The meeting generally ends at, at 1. Uh, the formal part of our meeting generally starts at 2. From basically 11 to 12 is get your lunch, network, meet people. For members, it's $20. I'm sorry, for non-members, it's $20. For members, the cost is your lunch only. And if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to shoot me an email, jeff at swflreia.com. Thanks for watching, and make it a great day.